Hi, this is Allison with Saratech, and today we're going to be talking about setting up batch runs in SimCenter in the Sim. We're not going to be going too in-depth with this model, but if you're interested in looking at it for yourself, you can find it by choosing Help, Get Demo, and search for CVT. And this top one is the one that I'm looking at right now. So first of all, once you've got your model all set up with the submodels and parameters that you want, you will come up to your parameter tab, click study parameters. And from here, you will drag the parameter that you want to use to create the batch run. So for me, I want to try a couple of different functions for this submodel here. So I'm going to drag my expression over to the study manager. And you can see it appears here. The default value is the one that I set when parameterizing my model. In this case, it's 4 times the square root of x. Now I'm going to click the Studies tab. I'll check the box next to the parameter I just added. Then I'll click Add to add an additional set to my batch run. So for set 1, the value is going to be 4 times the square root of x. But for set 2, I want to try something different. Let's say 0 0.01 times x. So I'll click OK and go over to the Simulation tab. I'll click Run Parameters and change my simulation type from Single Run to Batch. I can also click the Design Matrix button and this will pop up my design matrix. If I only want to run certain runs from my expressions. I can check or uncheck these boxes depending on what I want to run. I want to run both, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK in my Run Parameters box, and I'm going to run my simulation. My simulation is complete, so I will close this. Now when I'm looking at my variables, I can go over to the result set column and select which result set I want to look at. This could be result set 1, result set 2, or the reference result set. This also applies when you're looking at the other variables in your model. So I will double click this to bring up the variable list. And here at the top, I can select the result set from this drop down. This enables you to run several different options all at once. So I will go to my plots and open up the plot of shaft speed and car velocity. And you can see in this bottom plot here, I've plotted the vehicle velocity for both runs, the 0.01 times x run and the 4 times the square root of x run. You can see they're very close, but not the same. Setting up batch runs in this way allows you to run several different simulations all at once and easily compare the results afterward. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.